So let's move on, guys. Uh, maybe the last little thing uh, we also here show on AI is similar to what you have seen with our MPU solution with the X Linux AI package. But here we are running uh, also people detection and people counting, not on the microprocessor, but not on the microcontroller. And I let Guillaume to maybe say a few words about the demo and the best advantages of this one. So here we have a... We have two example applications that we can run through our tool called the uh, STM32 Cube AI, which allows you to convert pre-trained neural networks into optimized C code for the uh, STM32 microcontrollers. Uh, so the beauty here is that you would typically see those kinds of application on MPU or a doorbell, and um, it will detect the faces, and then for each face, you can compare it against a, a database of enrolled people. So right now I am not recognized, but if I go in front of the camera, I can enroll my face. And now I'm recognized as user 2. Anybody else who will go in front of the camera will not be known by the, the system. Cube AI is a software component that can be added to the there. Yeah. And it could, uh, you can use pre-trained model from TensorFlow, Keras, or uh, PyTorch through ONNX and then generate the code and integrate it into your application. So uh, computer vision uh, is a very exciting field to specialize in, right? Many people excited yes, about it. Yes, and uh, this is the beauty. Typically, you would require uh, MPU, and now we can start to see some applications running on microcontrollers with very uh, low memory and uh, small uh, How's the performance? The, the performance, uh, uh, is, we're starting to see some uh, decent numbers. So right now at 4 FPS, a few years ago we were running only at 1 FPS. So every every year we're making some progress. Is somebody making some magic in the background to make it faster? We have a very dedicated team that is uh, optimizing our Cube AI library to uh, take advantage of the DSP instructions and the uh, dual issue uh, pipeline of the Cortex-M7 uh, microcontrollers. And there's even more stuff that could be optimized. For sure. Always. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Guillaume.